What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. Take a listen. And the conflict is having a ripple effect. Could have a ripple effect. There's a huge ripple effect. So the ripple effect. Can you describe a little bit of a ripple effect? What kind of just ripple effect? Is there a broader ripple effect? So what kind of a ripple effect is that having? In terms of ripple effect. What's the ripple effect? It has a ripple effect. And the ripple effect of this one is just enormous. That loss of services has a ripple effect. The ripple effect of this. Having a ripple effect. A damaging ripple effect. Have a ripple effect. A ripple effect. A potential ripple effect. There is a ripple ripple effect the ripple effect it has a ripple on effect and the ripple effect through the economy but the ripple effect is very big what's the potential coincidence or not i'll leave that up to you a great tweet here from black swan capitalist and if you guys use twitter join my twitter community it's in the video description below but i want to feature your guys's content in future videos a lot of smart people watch this channel so if you find an article you find a tweet you find some tidbit of information throw it in the twitter community i'll feature you in the next video he says the next crypto bull run will be fueled by regulatory clarity. The past SEC and FTX corruption will serve as the new narrative for regulating projects with strong fundamentals. And if we know anything about XRP, one of the very few tokens that has regulatory clarity. Another note about regulatory clarity from attorney Jeremy Hogan. He says you will probably make a lot of money soon, and I hope you do. But whatever remained pure and true about Bitcoin will soon be gone. Someone tell me how to feel about this. And he quote tweets this information that came out. The US SEC will not be appealing the court decision on the grayscale Bitcoin ETF. Keep in mind, guys, what was Bitcoin designed to do? It was designed to be peer-to-peer -peer payments. It's failed. Now people say, oh, it's a digital gold. Tell any Bitcoin maxi that Bitcoin is a failure and it will rile them up and make them angry. But the point is, Satoshi wrote in the Bitcoin white paper that he wanted this to be peer-to-peer -peer payments. And over the course of the past 12 years, I can make a full video on this. A lot of corporations, organizations, it's now coming out that China actually as was potentially behind Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is not that. But what does Ripple do? It does exactly what Bitcoin was designed to do. And that's why I hold XRP. If you need a spot to get XRP or Flare, I recommend Uphold. It's sleek. It's simple. It's secure. It's where I dollar cost average to buy my XRP daily. A link to Uphold below. And if you guys want $41 for free, sign up with Webull. Deposit one penny. And they give you $40 in free stocks just for signing up and depositing a penny. A link to Webull in the video description below. Moving on, guys. Cardano founder, I linked the article below. Charles Hoskinson, he says XRP is not a threat to Ethereum because it does not have smart contracts. I said, can someone tell this guy about Flare? If you live under a rock, Flare Networks is what brings smart contract capability to XRP. And the only thing that Ethereum has right now that XRP does not is developers and uh, first mover advantage. Right? You have massive amount of projects on ETH compared to XRP. But over time, XRP will prove to be superior. It's cheaper. It costs me, if I wanted to send you money on Ethereum right now, it would cost me a few dollars and it would take uh, maybe around a minute. XRP would cost me fractions of a penny and it would be instantaneous. Talked about this uh, a few days ago. JP Morgan debuts their tokenization platform. BlackRock is among their key clients. The biggest hedge fund in the world. They call BlackRock the fourth branch of the U.S. government for a reason. And here is the Ripple CTO talking about tokenization. Take a listen. I'm hoping that we're going to see as real world asset tokenization projects grow. I think the XRP Ledger is going to be a really good platform for them to launch on, uh, you, particularly because of the low fees and because of the integration with the DEX, with the proximity to sort of the movement of funds. The ability, you know, if someone's going to buy what do you want to do with a real world tokenized asset you want to buy it you want to sell it you want to hold it you want to transfer it and if you want to buy it and sell it you want to be able to do that with whatever asset is convenient for you you don't want to tie if you tokenize some sort of debt like you don't want to tie it to us dollars because then that limits access to it to people who have sort of proximity to us dollars one of the things the xrp ledger is good for is giving you sort of proximity to many different assets and that exchange is seamlessly built in so i think that's going to make that's one of the many reasons why the xrp ledger is going to be a good place to launch tokenized real world assets. I think we'll see that in the next year, year and a half. I think you'll see that in the next year and year and a half. This is from July, 2023. Okay, very bullish stuff. Another clip from uh, Mr. Man XRP. David Schwartz has asked this question at a massive crypto conference. Why is XRP so cheap? 
Are banks using XRP? Is there liquidity in the system, you ask? Are banks settling on a digital asset today? Take a listen. Okay, the, the so banks, we have, then we have two questions. That's the fine, bank, but I think the, 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 the gentleman first, in the back was first. I'll wait. Okay. So, so I, I was just wanted to know uh, what kind of scale the banks are currently using this to trade um, amongst each other because, I mean, if they're doing it on the existing, you know, traditional uh, crypto exchanges, wouldn't there be issues with liquidity pockets, right? Like, like for, for a bank to settle a couple billion dollars amongst each other, there is, I, I just don't see how they could possibly get to that size without materially moving the market against each other. Um, so, so no one is settling on a digital asset at scale today. Uh, what's going on at scale today is the messaging part that's able to settle on a digital asset when the liquidity is there. Um, whether an, the, my, what's happening on the digital exchanges right now is there are really only two participants. There's market makers and there's speculators. And that's part of what I think is making the market so unhealthy. Uh, the market makers are deathly afraid that speculators are going to see a price go up on one exchange and beat them by a millisecond and sort of you know, ma make them take a loss and vice versa. What we're trying to do with XRapid is bring to these crypto exchanges market takers, people looking for liquidity, who don't care what crypto prices are doing. The thesis is that if we do that, market makers will make more money because they won't be, there won't be people trying to force them to you know, take a buy when the price is dropping and vice versa. And they'll respond, if I see you making a lot of money, I'll make just a little bit less money and someone else will make less money still. So we think that bringing in like, real demand for payments will bring the spreads down and bring the offer volumes up. XRapid will see if we're right about that. But you're absolutely right that there has to be more liquidity. The volatility problem is solved by, by the speed. The next question is, can we solve the liquidity problem? And I think um, as XRapid scales up, we'll see whether this just brings more liquidity or in the, in the negative scenario, do we just use up all the liquidity and then the market just dies? I don't think that'll happen. I think what market makers are looking for is people to, to take the liquidity that they provide. Uh, but we'll see very soon. One thing you talked about there is if I see you as a company saving money and making more money than me, why would these people not follow suit? When you think about cross-border payments today, Nostro and Vostro accounts, these banks are losing out on billions of dollars that they could be using to then put it back into the market and make money on these Nostro and Vostro accounts. XRP frees up the need for these Nostro and Vostro accounts. And that's one of the biggest things that I'm bullish on about XRP. In the future, 99% of cryptos will not be here. The ones that will remain are the ones with product market fit. And if anyone can say they have product market fit and they're solving a real business problem, bringing a real business solution, it's definitely Ripple. If you guys made it to the end of the video today. The best way to support the channel is smashing the like button and commenting. So if you still are listening, comment digital assets so I know who my loyal supporters are. And if you guys use Twitter, uh, give me a follow on Twitter. And post in the Twitter community, guys. I want to start featuring people in the videos. Shout out to Mondo at FBC, the first post since March. I haven't really been promoting the Twitter community. But you can find the Twitter community in the video description below. As always, guys, God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.